Every year when I take my girls to their wellness check at our pediatrician, they're nine, five, and three, the pediatrician will ask them a series of questions. And I realize that she does this to gauge their mental and emotional and brain development. Questions like, can you be a Disney princess when you grow up? Is that real or is it pretend? Do you like to make up stories? Do you have an imaginary friend? And this is her way of gauging how much they've matured or how aware they are of the world. If my pediatrician does that in an annual wellness check, why are members of the medical community not taking that same concept into consideration when they are trying to puberty block and feed hormones into young kids? sexualizing those children at younger and younger ages and performing medical procedures on them that are sometimes irreversible. Unfortunately, there's an increasing number of people who have transitioned that are now discovering that it's impossible to detransition. Because once you remove the male part of an anatomy, you can't put it back. There are stories of men who have transitioned into women that have zero feeling and can't even have sexual pleasure. They have issues going to the bathroom or moving their bowels. They feel like they smell of urine all of the time. Their hormones are all out of whack. And when it comes to young women that transition into men, the medical community is literally forced sterilizing them. They are pumping them with so many male hormones like progesterone and testosterone that there is irreversible damage done to their reproductive organs. So even if, as they identify as men and make the shift to become men, what if in 20 years they decide they want a baby? Nope, you can't do it. That is irreversible damage done without that informed consent. The Hippocratic Oath says first, do no harm. And some people genuinely think that they are helping people when they perform medical procedures on them to help them transition. But shouldn't they be informed? Shouldn't they know the risks? Shouldn't they know that this is irreversible? That is truly informed consent. 